botulinum toxin. Botulinum toxin is produced by the bacterium Clostridium botulinum and is often regarded as the most lethal substance known to man. This neurotoxin causes paralysis and respiratory failure by preventing nerve signals from reaching muscles. In medical settings, it is used in tiny dosages to treat conditions like chronic migraines, spasms in the muscles, and wrinkle reduction with Botox. However, a few nanograms can kill a human when used as a weapon or in higher concentrations. The way this toxin functions is by blocking the release of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which regulates muscular contractions. Its potential as a biological weapon has been studied in the past. The United States government even created bombs containing botulinum toxin during World War II, although they were never deployed in combat. Higher doses might cause symptoms like breathing difficulties and muscle weakness in 12 to 36 hours, which could result in death in 1 to 3 days if care is not received. It is a top choice for weaponizations in conflict or acts of terrorism due to its lethality and incapacitating power. 2. Rice and castor beans contain a poison called ricin. Humans can die from even little doses of this drug, and high-profile assassination attempts have employed it. In order to prevent protein synthesis, which is essential for cell survival, ricin enters cells and blocks it. Within 36 to 72 hours, organ failure results from the dying cells. When a ricin pellet was put through the tip of an umbrella to kill Bulgarian dissident Georgi Markov in London in 1978, ricin became well known. He passed away a few days following the assault, demonstrating the lethality of even a little hidden dosage of ricin. Initial symptoms such as fever, nausea, and abdominal discomfort are caused by inhaling, ingesting, or injecting ricin. However, these swiftly progress to severe dehydration, organ failure, and death. Medical care focuses on controlling symptoms and reducing ricin's absorption, despite the lack of an antidote. Because of ricin's extreme lethality, ease of manufacturing, and availability, its possible use in bioterrorism is still a concern. Third, polonium-210 radioactive material. Polonium-210 gained notoriety in 2006 when it was utilized to assassinate former Russian spy Alexander Litvinenko. When consumed or inhaled, alpha radiation from polonium-210 is deadly, but innocuous when it is outside the body. Radiation poisoning can be brought on by a few micrograms of polonium-210, which can harm tissues and organs cellularly. Three weeks after consuming tea tainted with polonium-210, Litvinenko suffered an excruciating death from acute radiation syndrome. Radiation damages DNA and affects cellular activity, resulting in symptoms such as nausea, hair loss, and ultimately failure of many organs. When someone discovers they have been poisoned, it is frequently too late to treat them because the poison is difficult to identify until symptoms are severe. Because polonium-210 is practically undetected unless properly tested for, it makes it an especially sneaky candidate for assassination. This poison is as discreet as it is harmful, given the minuscule amount required to be fatal. VX Nerve Agent One of the most lethal nerve poisons ever created is the VX Nerve Agent. Its lethality comes from its capacity to disrupt the neurological system by blocking acetylcholine esterase, the enzyme that breaks down acetylcholine. It was first developed in the 1950s for use in chemical warfare. Acetylcholine buildup causes involuntarily contracted muscles, which can result in paralysis and even death. The effects of even a small drop of VX on the skin can be deadly and happen quickly. When Kim Jong-nam, the half-brother of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, was killed at a Malaysian airport in 2017, it was the most well-known usage of VX. His assassins applied VX to his face, forcing him to pass away after 20 minutes. Exposure to VX can cause convulsions, jerking of the muscles, and respiratory failure. If medical attention is delayed, death may occur in a matter of minutes or hours. One of the most feared chemical agents in the world, VX is used in assassinations to demonstrate how readily it can be weaponized. 5. Cyanide Another quick-acting poison that has been utilized in the past for mass murder, executions, and assassinations is cyanide. Cyanide basically suffocates cells at the cellular level by preventing them from using oxygen. Inhalation or ingestion may cause symptoms like lightheadedness, dyspnea, and unconsciousness which may be swiftly followed by cardiac arrest. Death can come within minutes. During the Jonestown Massacre in 1978, when over 900 members of the People's Temple perished from cyanide-laced punch, cyanide was used in one of the most notorious cases. Cyanide was also used in World War II gas chambers, according to historical accounts. Because cyanide may kill fast and is easily obtained from several sources, it can be found in some industrial and household substances, cyanide poisoning is especially dangerous. Antidotes do exist, but they must be used promptly to be effective. Because of its availability and lethality, cyanide has long been a favorite poison in a variety of illicit activities. 6. Amatoxin from Deathcap Mushroom Amatoxins are among of the most severe toxins that attack the kidneys and liver. They are present in a variety of mushroom species, including the deathcap mushroom. 
Amatoxins function by preventing RNA polymerase, which is necessary for cells to synthesize proteins. Organ failure results from the death of cells in key organs, especially the liver and kidneys, when protein production is disrupted. Nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea are among the initial symptoms. These may go away in a day or two. However, when liver and kidney disease worsen silently, this is frequently the quiet before a catastrophic storm. If therapy is not received, death could happen in a week. The majority of deadly mushroom poisonings worldwide are caused by death cap mushrooms, and an adult can be killed by half of a mushroom cap. Amatoxins are especially harmful because there is no effective counter agent and the symptoms take time to manifest. For patients who eat these poisonous mushrooms, the survival percentage is dismal even with rapid medical intervention, such as liver transplants. 7. Strychnine Strychnine is a very toxic chemical that was once employed as a medication to enhance performance, as well as a pesticide. By inhibiting the inhibitory neurotransmitter glycine, it disrupts the neurological system and causes excruciatingly painful muscle spasms. Bone fractures may result from these spasms because of their extreme intensity. Strychnine poisoning eventually results in suffocation death due to paralysis of the breathing muscles. Strychnine poisoning was more common in the 19th and early 20th centuries, and it was frequently used for intentional poisoning in criminal trials. However, it is rare in modern times. After consumption, its effects usually become apparent in 10 to 20 minutes, resulting in convulsions and death in a few hours. Strychnine's deadly side effects make it a terrible choice for human intake, but it has also been employed in smaller doses as a stimulant in sports, most notably in the 1904 Olympic marathon. The substance's deadly dual nature is reflected in its historical associations with both criminal poisoning and its previous usage in medicine. 8. Sarin similar to VX, sarin is a nerve agent that causes acetylcholine to build up and interferes with the central nervous system by blocking acetylcholine esterase. Constant nerve stimulation results from this, which can cause paralysis, convulsions, and respiratory failure. Because of its great potency, sarin was first created as a pesticide in the 1930s, but was quickly turned into a weapon. The Aum Shinrikyo cult stunned the world in 1995 when they attacked the Tokyo subway system with sarin gas, killing 13 and wounding over 1,000. Symptoms that affected the victims included breathing difficulties, muscle spasms, wet eyes, and loss of consciousness. Sarin exposure, even at very low levels, can be lethal in a matter of minutes, whether through skin contact or inhalation. Because of its great lethality and ease of dispersion, sarin is categorized as a weapon of mass destruction. Stockpiles of sarin and other nerve agents are nevertheless a serious worry because to their possible use in terrorism or warfare, even though they are prohibited by international law. 9. Tetrodotoxin Tetrodotoxin is a strong neurotoxin that is present in marine animals such as pufferfish and certain newt species. It stops nerves' sodium channels from opening, which stops impulses from being sent. This results in paralysis that produces numbness around the mouth, breathing difficulties, and, in a few of hours, asphyxia death. In Japan, pufferfish, also known as fugu, is considered a delicacy. However, the preparation of this fish is closely regulated because even trace amounts of tetrodotoxin can be lethal. Since there is no known cure for tetrodotoxin poisoning, supportive care measures like mechanical breathing remain the mainstay of therapy until the toxin is broken down and eliminated from the body. Tetrodotoxin has been used historically in Haitian voodoo ceremonies, where it is thought to cause a death-like state, leading to the mythology surrounding zombies despite its risks. The toxin is one of the deadliest known natural poisons due to its tremendous potency and treatments difficulty. Ten. Mercury over time, the body can accumulate mercury, especially in its organic form as methylmercury, which is a strong neurotoxin that can cause poisoning. While acute mercury poisoning can result in fatalities and severe brain damage, chronic exposure can induce symptoms including tremors, memory loss, and kidney damage. Since industrial pollution is the main way that mercury enters the food chain, polluted seafood is typically linked to methylmercury poisoning. In the middle of the 20th century, thousands of people in Minamata, Japan, suffered from neurological impairment as a result of eating fish tainted with mercury in one of the biggest incidents of mercury poisoning ever. Because mercury poisoning alters neurotransmitters and puts cells under oxidative stress, it impairs the central nervous system. While environmental contamination is a common cause of mercury exposure, the deadly metal has also been utilized in criminal trials where individuals have inadvertently consumed mercury. Although there have been continuous efforts to lower mercury exposure and emissions, the metal's persistence in the environment still poses a concern to public health. And there you have it. A glimpse into the shadowy realm of poisons, substances so powerful they've been feared and revered for centuries. From polonium 210's slow, silent death to the rapid, brutal effects of nerve agents like VX and sarin, the stories of these lethal killers remind us just how fragile human life can be in the face of these invisible threats.
But it's not just the past that we should be wary of. The potential for these poisons to reemerge in new, terrifying ways keeps experts on high alert. So the next time you hear about a mysterious death or an unsolved crime, remember, the deadliest killers aren't always visible. If you enjoyed this deep dive into some of history's most chilling poisons, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Because who knows, the next secret weapon might be lurking closer than you think.